Oh my god. Don't mind my pores. Please don't talk about my pores. This looks good. Brand new camera. Brand new Wednesday. Kids. I'm back. Comment below, scale one to 10. How good do I look? I'll turn the AC off so you can hear me. One to 10, how good I look. And one to 10, how, how good I sound. Um, I bought a new vlogging camera. Sony, thanks for not sponsoring me, but thanks for helping me. We're heading to the gym, kids. Um, man, I don't even know where to begin. Haven't put a video out in a little bit. Um, been busy. Um, and I haven't been able to like vlog vlog in a bit. Been busy. We've done some sit down, like catch up videos, but I feel the vibe is so different. You guys are sitting on my steering wheel right now. You know, it's me and it's you. And we put blinders on to the rest of the world. And we just get to connect on a deeper, some would say an intimate level. Catch you up, R rewind to fast forward. Take one step back to take a leap forward for mankind. Um, 2018, I have coffee with Jim McD, Jim McDonald, one of the pioneers in content creation in the strength and conditioning world. One of the first guys to believe in me as a content creator, as a coach, as a as a voice. Jim McD and I have coffee. He wants to start a new podcast. He needs a place. He wants a place. He wants me. How do we get involved? I need a place to train. I live in downtown Sacramento. There's nowhere to train. I need a community. I have no friends. I'm a big loser. What are we going to do? So we're brainstorming, brainstorming. Long story short, fast forward a year and a half later, we're beginning an apparel company called Good Company that's produced by a company called Third Street Barbell. We get the keys to a building that has so much history in powerlifting, weightlifting, strength and conditioning, not only for our local fitness scene here, but for the internet, for everything. Um, it's the spot where super training was. It's the spot where the power cast and I began my career. It's where all my first videos were. It's where I grew my Instagram. Um, it's where Pete Rubish, Chad Wesley Smith, George Lehman, Brandon Lilly, Eric Spoto, Stan Efferding, Dan Green. It's where some of these guys crushed some of the biggest weights on the planet and literally revolutionized what powerlifting is in the in the 21st century. We spend the next five months physical labor, no days off, renovating this building. And that's where I'm going right now. I'm gonna go catch a workout. Um, I haven't worked out consistently in a year. Uh, I went through some personal things. Um, I've been pretty open and honest with you guys in my past about some of the anxiety stuff I deal with. Um, that I work through on my own, you know, with my mom, my loved ones, I work through with therapy since I was a child um, that can really lock me up. So it locked me up pretty good last year, um, as well as some just life stuff going on. And then I started to work out last January, early 220, and as most of you know, and most of you gone through, we then had lockdowns. I live in California, so our lockdowns were a little bit longer than some. I didn't have access to a gym uh, from basically February until last week when I got equipment for my own gym Third Street Barba. So I, uh, I'm building back up uh, I got real thick and not good way over uh, the winter last year I got up to 250 pounds uh, That's like an embarrassing insane number the heaviest I had ever been before that was about 230 but uh, again life hits chapters close chapters open life goes on I don't know what other cliche saying I could throw at you, but it didn't feel good. It didn't go well. I got way overweight. I dieted down to back 220. So I'm about 220, 225, and uh, just trying to get some of the strength back. So this is probably my fourth session back, 
first one here on YouTube. Can't wait to take you guys with me. Um, and I hope you guys like this, man. I think it's going to be a lot of one-on-one -on -one times. Some lifting, some life, some business, some design. Um, I've shared a lot about myself on the internet. Obviously, I went to an art school my whole life. I've talked about that. Played basketball, grew up kind of in the hip-hop culture. Um, not in it, but loving it. And it's surrounding me in a way. Um, and so I'm doing a lot of the brain work, the design, the creative work on our clothing itself. So maybe I'll get you guys behind the scenes in that. Uh, we built an office here, a podcast. So I got a podcast at one. It's currently 11. Let's deadlift. Uh, I'm back because I, I feel like I didn't finish the story. Well, I'm going to go deadlift. But so basically we <laughs> decided to build a gym, build a community, build an online community through our apparel. The window's a little loud. I'm sorry, kids. Buckle up back there. Buckle up. We'll get there when we get there. Uh... But we spent five five months or so renovating the space. We have, we're probably 90% done with the space, 70% done with our equipment. COVID and life and things have slowed down our shipment. So we're waiting on some barbells. We're waiting on some um, plates. Um, so we're not officially open. We're not officially open, but obviously I'll announce that here and my Instagram and stuff as soon as we are open. Uh, I don't know how many videos I'm gonna put out on this thing. Um, will there be daily, daily vlogs or every other day vlogs, but uh, I think it's time to push it, man. Uh, I basically have taken a year off to build up business and create a space where I can create better content to connect with you guys, um, to share my story, share my experiences. So now we're at that point where it's time to share the experience. Um, sometimes my life's so boring, I'm like, well, I can't vlog, I don't do anything. And then sometimes my life's so crazy, like I'm too crazy, I can't vlog. And so right now I'm kind of in that middle space where we're busy and I, I think I can take you guys on the journey, but I'm not forgetting to vlog. You know, I just had to put all my money in things, other areas for a while. Um, but now, it's here. Brand new vlog camera, brand new me. So, um, gym's not open, uh, but hopefully it'll open trill soon. Trill soon. As soon as this shipment shows up, everything else is prepared. So, uh, time to rock and roll, friends. A beautiful wall. Hopefully we don't get DMCA. I think it's 21. 21. Oh, it's about to get bright, kids. Oh, adjust camera. Oh, shit. Right here on the freeway, in front of Third Street Barbell. Good company. Welcome, fam. Man, getting back into it feels good. Um, my body doesn't ache as bad as I thought my body would ache. Um, but the main issues are how heavy things feel. Um... And then kind of controlling volume. I like to work. I never got into lifting weights to power lift. I never got into break world records. I like the feeling of work. I like hard sets of 10. I like hard sets of eight, but holding back on that throttle a little bit because I know in the long term, I will be better off handling some singles, getting some of my strength back and getting the volume on the back end accessories um, and saving kind of the hard, hard work on the barbell for when I do plateau or when I'm better conditioned. You don't want to just hop back in after a year break or, or whatever break is just start banging out sets of 10 on squat. You're, one, you're gonna be insanely sore, one. Two, uh, when you do plateau, what are you gonna do? You start with three sets of 10, three times a week on squat. Now you have nowhere to go. You need, you need to give yourself a little bit of room. If I can make more progress doing less work, that's the goal. Because then I can add more work over time. I can add more volume, I can add more weight. So handling a heavy single on deads, probably a heavy double, triple on squats, Probably some volume on bench, even though I just said I'm not doing that. Probably just a good set of five, close grip, catch a pump, podcast. But yeah, mo mo most things for me is just going back to how heavy lifting feels. 405 felt like hell. 455 felt like hell, but they felt very similar. So um, rely on your friends, rely on your confidence, rely on your preparation, your past. Uh, and if you need to, videotape it to see how fast it actually looks. Because I'm staying in, in position, everything feels good, um, besides it feeling heavy. I changed. I love Sacramento. Another pet peeve I've talked about many times. People talk like we're LA. Anytime I say like, yeah, I live in Sacramento, California. Like, oh my God, I wish I lived somewhere where it was warm. And not that it's not warm here. We're in a valley. It's very hot all summer. Like I think we had over 35 days, over a hundred this year, which is warm, but that starts in like May. The rest of the year, I would say is temperate. We don't get a lot of rain. Sometimes we get some fog. It's still very dry, but like, it's a little bit late summer this year, but right now it's nice. It's about 50s in the morning, 60s or 70s all day long. De December, November, kind of our holiday season up until April, March, we'll get the 50s. I like that. It's like hoodie weather. You're comfy in a hoodie 
in some sweats. Um, but basically, we just re- got a podcast. We've still been jamming. Um, if you guys don't know, 50% facts, all audio uh, spots you want to listen to it. Uh, we do live stream it to take your guys' questions. Um, but I want to give you a mini tour of the bat cave. What's it called, Jim? Uh, bur- bat poop? Guana? Guana. This looks like guano but it, or like a burnt shack, but it's not. This is insulation foam. We basically built this building. I told you guys we were going nuts uh, for the last five or six months, and this is still a work in progress. We did these floors to match the other floors. We're gonna have fulfillment. All the all the good company, Third Street uh, clothing will be shipped out of here. Our top secret door, you guys don't even know how to get back here. It's, it's password locked. My computer, and then nothing else. A little soundboard, but then the whole podcast studios. Oh, back here. Oh, I'm tired, boys. So this is where we're live streaming and banging out all the podcast content soon. Don't know when. Uh, my Twitch streams will, will commence, whether they be lifting, probably in here, uh, obviously in the gym, um, and then probably gaming. So we'll see if I'm going to game here on my desk or uh, still do the rig at home. We got fiber down here, which is pretty nice. And then there'll be people in and out, which is like good and bad. If I'm in the middle of a game, it's bad because I'm trying to get high kills on Warzone. If I'm not in the middle of the game, it's good because then we got some interaction and some life and some content. Um, we'll see. Comment below if you guys watch some Twitch. I know it's gotten so popular. I've watched that thing for years now. The average, you know, big boy streamer used to be 10K and now it's like dudes are averaging 50, 60,000 people. Last night, there's some political guy with 200,000 people on there. Um, so I know the platform's grown an insane amount in popularity. Obviously, Amazon owns it, so that's how it goes. Um, not sure what the rest of the day has in store, but here's my mini locker room. Here. This camera looks pretty good. Huh? Oh, boys. Pretty good. Autofocus is solid. Zoom in. Okay, go by now. This is literally my position, I'd say. If I'm not lifting or doing, the renovations are still going. We have stuff to do, but the gym, again, the physical space is 95% done. It's functional. It's just we're waiting on this equipment. But this is my position when I'm working at home. This is my position when I'm working my laptop kicking. Good news, finally. We're talking about not getting dubs out here. We're getting a lot of speed bumps in this journey. But I have something wrong with my brain where I don't f- fear failure anymore. I think I'm just too old. I just don't give a fuck. I heard you're allowed to curse deep into YouTube videos, so we're gonna let loose. But, good news has come, my friends. All our equipment's coming in the next two days. Everything. I ordered all this stuff months ago, we've been waiting, and this kinda showed up, this kinda showed up, that kinda showed up, everything's coming. So I think, if the boss man allows us, and if not, we're gonna edit this shit out. I think we're doing an open gym, come hang out, sign a waiver, lift for free, Probably the only free day we're ever going to do. This Saturday. Come, hang out, sign up, check out the gym. I'll give you a tour, ask questions, wear your mask, clean your hands, wipe your butt, do your hair, take an Instagram selfie. Hopefully, we're doing a soft launch. People can work out, hang out, sign up. Sunday, we're closed. And Monday, will officially be open after two years of work. 